Uh, I'm facing Drew this week. He does bring Brew Bonnet and Son. No Cinderace, though. Does still bring Reggie Lecky. So I think my team is very well built for Reggie Lecky. And seeing that I don't see a Cinderace and the only real switch in to my Typhlosion, the Walking Wake. Bro, Typhlo is crazy here. He probably brought like Duel's Greens, like what? Duel's Greens, Play Rough, and like T Wave or Spikes or something. We'll see. Uh, let me jot his team down. We got Klefki, Torkoal, Wake. Uh, Eleki, Slither, and Brute. So the Brute's probably the Terra Captain because the only thing I can tear on his team. Um, I think me personally, I just... Like looking at his team, he doesn't have a single switch into Hippo, right? So I think I just lead Hippo. But I also feel like he's going to lead Torkoal, right? So... I mean, Slowking's not a bad lead either, but I'm going to lead I'm gonna lead Hippo. Um, be, be solid with that, right? Um, you could also read that and like go Brute on it, but I think I'm going to lead Hippo. Uh, big goal. I get rid of just basically the obnoxious things on his team. Clef is going to be annoying. I just want that gone ASAP. Um, me, Percy, the moment I can get my Lekarok to do some chip to our Typhlosion and or Valiant and or, uh, you know, my men's cleans up. We're good. Um, I brought Specs Valiant this week. Uh, so we're going to see how that goes. I think Specs Valiant is absolutely a menace to his team. Uh, also, not seeing the Cinderace and no Claude Sire uh, means that, you know, my Specs Moonblast will be hitting even harder. Uh, I think I two-shot everything on his team with Moonblast. Uh, if not one shot, depending on the Mon. So we'll see how this goes. We'll see how this goes. He's going to actually lead Torkoal Tonka. He comes out first, so his weather should be ap applied first. Meaning that my Sand is going to... I don't know how it works. I literally don't know how it works. He came out first. I don't know how it works. <clears throat> All right. Uh, sun is up. That's tough. That doesn't look good for me, huh? Um, yeah, I just want my rocks up as soon as possible. I mean, he could probably just... I want the thing a little healthy as well, too, because I don't want it to die, right? Um, I'm going to put rocks up and then go out to... Go out to my uh, Typhlo. Could be a little insanely aggressive here, but we'll see. I don't think he's going to want to go for turn one Solar Beam. We'll see. He puts up rocks as well, too. Okay. Okay. Cool, 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 cool. Cool, 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 cool. I think this is basically now where I go out into uh, my Typhlo. Uh, see what happens here to kind of spin block. Um, right? Yeah, I just want to get a safe switch out to my Typhlosion right now. I can spin block. I don't think he's gonna earth power. He could also potentially solo beam as well, too. Um, I did bring Terra Fair into thing just in case. We could honestly tear with either or because I was about Terra Rock. So she's like, goes. I'm gonna go Drumbo! See what he wants to do here. Um, I could spin block here and also I'll eat a potential solar beam and a fire move. I mean, in the sun, I'm still not gonna appreciate it, right? But uh, we'll see. We'll see. We'll see what he wants to do here. Let's see what he wants to click here. If he clicks. He's Heat Rock. Okay, we'll see what wants to click here. Be a little annoying. He rapid Spins. Yep. Good, good read. Good read. Nice, nice, nice. Um, what sucks, though, is my Teflusion is not going to do much back to it. Uh, how much does Earth Heart do to me? I think Earth Heart should be doing too much. Yeah, Earth Heart I'm fine with. I can actually just click Shadow Ball here at two codes. If he's uh, Spin Def, it does not. If he's Fizz Def, it does. Um, looking at the rest of his team, um, I think Shadow Ball is also just safe as well, too. Um, so I'm going to click that. Kind of just fill him out, right? I don't think he wants to stay in. I don't think he wants the thing worn down too much because he, we're, we're in Weather Wars right now. So I don't think he wants it down too much. So we'll see. But um, Shadow Ball looks really good against his team, right? Like he only switched in his Brute. And I don't think he's going to bring in a Brute on freaking... Okay, he just stays in. Okay, he's Pedef. Some along the lines like that. He's Pedef. Okay. Uh, my Shadow Ball should do 52 to 63, so he's definitely spin deaf. So I'm just going to get out of here. I'm going to switch out. I saw Earth Power as well, too. Earth Power is revealed. I'm going to just get out. So I've revealed that he's Heat Rock and that he's also spin deaf. Okay. So I'm going to get the hell out of here, bro. And I'm going to go right into my Torkoal. Um, I think the last move, obviously, is Fire Stab, Flamethrower, Lava Plume, right? Anything that he wants to do. Um, you could read this and go uh, rapid spin, but I also could just be insane and just go for it, right? I wish I got a drop there. I would have just literally gone wild if I got a drop there. Okay, let's see what else to do here. Earth power again. Okay, he's going to spin block. Uh, he's going to spin for sure. I can't spin block it. I'm just going to go over to the reception. He's definitely going to spin block it, but what can you do, right? What can you literally do, man? 
Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and shoot reception here. It's unfortunate, man, but we'll see how it is. We'll see how this goes. He spit F, which is big. Which is actually huge. I'm just gonna calc that for spit F because he's. He spit F. He is spit F. He spit F. My Aura Sphere has a chance to kill, but I'm not risking that. Bad damage? I'm not risking that. I'm not. I'm not. I wish I did a little more. Maybe, but it's unlucky. We'll see. <sighs> but yeah, um. Weird start for sure, man. Torkoal is a little annoying. Breaking through Torkoal is a little annoying. But I've seen that he's not have he didn't reveal fire move. So I could chill the reception out into my Salamence. You know, I kind of wish I was Lumberry, but he's gonna withdraw. This is huge. Quinn Stefan? Okay. This is actually big. Good speed. Ah! It's speed! Ah! Do I just go out into my tie flow? I don't think I do. That'd be insane. <laughs> I don't think I do. Ugh. I don't think I do, man. Why does it have to be speed? Bro, this thing is a menace to society. So I got a speed buff, but I could also just go out into my I'm fine going out into my Iron Valley in here. Because I got a speed buff. I also don't know what item it is. Because well, we saw no, that was the proto since the booster popped, but the sun was here. You could also be choice bags. You definitely could be choice bags. Dude, choice bags with this thing, Hydro Steam actually actually has a chance to kill me. Um I mean it's my best bet, dude. It's my best bet, dude. So Hydro Stream Specs is a guaranteed Oko on me after rocks. So I'm gonna go right back out. I'm gonna go right back out and see what wants to click because Slow King is my best bet on it, and I revealed that I'm not booster. I'm gonna go right back out to see what wants to click. If he clicks Hydro Steam, and we'll see the damage. He's definitely choice specs. We'll see. He's gonna actually double out. If I'm him, who do I jingles? Okay. This is not bad. I'm content with this. Okay, so he's not choice specs because if he was choice specs, he would have stayed in and gone for that, right? He's not choice specs. He's not. He also gonna think I'm scarfed and I could be bluffing that, but he's not specs. Okay. Um, Wake was. <sighs> I'll have to watch that back, but I don't think. Um, here, we're gonna click flamethrower. I'm not gonna think much. I'm gonna click flamethrower into things he wants to do. I think he's just gonna want to put up screens or, or whatever, man. I'm gonna flamethrower and then I'm gonna go out into my hippo. Because he doesn't really have a floating mon. It could magnet rise as well, too, but he doesn't have a floating mon. So we'll see how that goes. He went Klefkies, bitches lefties. Yeah, I don't think. I, I'm not trying to overthink, guys, but I don't think he actually was a booster. I think the sun was still up and then actually reception. So um, I'm like 95% positive I have short term because no way I forgot that within that short time span. But I paid attention to Frisk this time. I paid attention to Frisk this time. He's going to T wave. That's just cringe. You got a two of a mod that has slow in his name? Don't bury me. Yes! You'll burn his ass. That's big. What? Oh, he's gonna live, lefties. Okay, I don't want him to get up too many spikes here. I'm gonna just go right out into my Sheila. I don't want him to get too many spikes up here. Guys, I need to draft a mod that can also remove hazards. It's not Cryo. Dude, Cryo's had a rough week, man. Rough few weeks, man. I mean, I can't bring Cryo against a Sun team. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, Cryo's had a rough time. Cryo's had a rough time. I mean, I have freeze drive for the wake, but Cryo's a rough time. Cryo's are, is a rough time. You know, like, well, it's not that awful against like, like Wake and like, uh, you could bring Fizz Wake. Well, it's not that awful against like, like Wake and Lucky, Ice uh, and Race and Brubonnet and Slither Wing. So, yeah. Um, we'll see what he wants to do, though. Let's we'll see what he wants to do. I've revealed Shitty Reception, which is awesome. Big stuff. Big stuff. I wish I kind of. Chill reception now, but I switched out and I'm slower than him, so he stayed in. Uh, he puts up screens or spikes. I don't want him to put up too many spikes, so we'll see what he wants to do here. If it's screens or spikes. Damn, that key is floating high as hell, bruh! He coal mines, what? 
<laughs> wait, wait, is he, uh, he didn't bring Miss Maggie's either. I can actually just click Earthquake. No, he's going to Magnet Rise. He's going to Magnet Rise. I'm going to click, um, what, T-Wave, Call My Magnet Rise Drain Kiss? I'm going to click Heavy Slam. I'm going to click... I'm going to click Heavy Slam. I don't want to Earthquake here in case I'm a Magnet Rise, but I also don't want to predict too much, right? I think, okay, how about this? If I click Earthquake, if he Magnet Rises, I click Earthquake, not much happened because the next turn I click Heavy Slam. But if it's Magnet Rises, I'm going to hit an Earthquake. He's going to withdraw. Nice. See, so he wants to go out into... Slitherwing, okay. Yeah, clicking Heavy Slam would have not been too awful there. Okay. Okay, it wouldn't have been too awful there. I kind of talked myself out of it, but it's fine. It's fine. We have a helmet, so we're fine. Um, I think the thing is bulking up. I'm like 90% positive. This thing is bulking up. I could just heavy slam because I don't really like look what else I come into. I could come out into Drumbo, but the rocks are up. You feel me? I can't bring the thing in too often. If there's a time I'm going to bring it out, it's kind of now, right? I'm just going to do that. Because if there's a time I can bring it out, it's Lily now. But the rocks plus Sandstorm, we'll see. I think I'm dead because of the sand and everything. Lefties, I know that. Duh. He subs. No! We got a free sub! I'm trolling! I think I'm dead to the sand as well, too. Unless I level one. Yep. Yeah. Dude, is this game? That thing's subbed. I can't go out into my uh, hippo here because I don't. I don't think hippo's not gonna appreciate. Um, he's bulk up, sub bulk up, sub bulk up, dual stab. That's really unfortunate that I kind of just let my Typhlosion go there for free. Yeah, I kind of have. I'm forced to do this now. I'm kind of forced to do this now, but we'll see what he wants to do here. Um, it does get a heavy slam. It does. It actually does get a heavy slam. It does. Heavy slam doesn't kill me, though. Okay, I'm just going to go for Moonblast. Pop the sub. He doesn't have a lot of good switch to Moonblast right now. He could also Morning Sun. We'll see what he wants to do. I left Bulka for sure. I know he's got Bulka for sure, but we'll see. Dueling Beat. Okay. All right, there's going to be a limited time I can bring the thing in, so we'll see. There's going to be a limited time I can bring the thing, so we'll see. I can't just kind of switch in and switch out. Look at this, dude. Like, at the moment I can get my ments back in, I think is when I'm going to be kind of chilling. And I still have my Lycan Rock. Uh, if I'm him, I go Klefki here. If I'm him, I go Klefki here, but I lock myself in a Moonblast, right? Yeah. Um, Cause if I, I don't want him to set up another sub. I don't think he sets up another sub. I think he just switches out. Um, yeah, one more turn of sand. Okay, I'm gonna just gonna move us. He's gonna withdraw. He could probably goes Torkoal or Klefki. He goes Klefki. Nice. He's going to T-Wave for sure. I dropped a special attack. Actually matters. Yep, I don't take that other damage. That's why I stayed in. I could have got out into my Hippo, but that's why I stayed in. Um, now I'm going to go Hippo. Back out into Hippo. Put back up that shit, right? And we're good. 
Klefki and Slither are weakened down. So while my while I did lose my Typhlosion, my Valiant is super weakened down. Uh, it doesn't look the best right now, but I think we still bring it back. I'm going to go on to my Hippo here. Because I think he wants to T-Wave me. Um, so we'll see. You could T-Wave or put up Hazards here, but I think it's last week's attack. Let's see what he wants to do. Because I know he's got Draining Case. He's got T-Wave Calm Mind. Spikes, okay. If I'm him, I put up another layer and die. Um, my Valiant is probably dead, though. I'm so serious. My Valiant is dead. My Valiant is dead. If I can kill this thing, that's going to be big. Um, it's going to be huge. I'm going to Earthquake here. Calm Mind, Spikes, T-Wave. His last move is definitely Draining Kiss. So I'm going to just go ahead and click Earthquake here. Yep, if I'm him, I put up two Spikes and I die. So Klefki's dead. But it, it looks really bad for my Valiant right now, man. Yeah, not having hazard removal has been screwing me up a lot. I'm not going to cap. I'm not going to cap. All right. He either goes Torkoal to put the sun back up, or he goes Wake. He could also go Brubonnet. Brubonnet, I don't switch into well, like, at all, dude. Hey, yeah, uh, Brubonnet's probably coming in here. Brubonnet is, is a massive threat right now, man. My Valiant's probably dead. He goes Slither, actually. That's interesting. So I don't know his Slither build. I, I don't I don't know. But my Heavy Slam should not pop sub here. I don't know. Let's 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 find out. He's gonna leech life. Okay. I'm glad that I stayed in here. Give his leech life. Nice, rocky, rocky, heavy, and sand. Big stuff, Hippo! Hippo with two kills, huge. I'm surprised he's not going Bonnet. Maybe it's Terrifier? I'm surprised he's gone Bonnet. Okay, now he goes Torkoal. I think he now goes Torkoal here. So while I'm down one, I'm basically down two because my Valiant is dead. I don't want my Hippo to die here though, because I need that sand. I need that sand. It's a lot of weather wars here. If I get the sand up... We're looking really good. Uh, if he goes Torkoal, I think... He's gonna rapid spin if he goes Torkoal. But I think I just... He spit F. So if he goes Torkoal and wants to rapid spin, I think I just stand and click Earthquake. Or I could go out into my Ments. Because I probably... Now that we know all of his Torkoal's moves, Rocks, Rapid Spin, and Earth Power, that last move is definitely Fire Stab. I don't think it's Willow. I think it's definitely Fire Stab, right? So, uh, we'll see. Karunti. Okay, this is the Brute. I don't have a switch to this, dude. Yeah, look at my team, bro. You can just sucker punch me from the range of where I'm at. Um. Okay. I don't want to just hard bring in Mence. Could be insane, but what if I let Valiant go here and then bring out Mence? The Bonnet is high key a threat, dude. The Bonnet is high key a threat. Um, and I don't want him to get up like a free growth, but it, if I'm him, I set up growth. If I'm him, I definitely set up growth. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. If it's troll, it's troll, but I feel confident in that. He's actually gonna double switch out. And he goes Torkoal. Okay, if Valiant, for whatever le reason, lives two spikes and rocks, you're my goat. Okay, and here's my play though, guys. Is oh, uh, you know what sucks though is I'd have to DD twice. Let's see, rocks. Valiant, my goat. He lives. Three HP. That's huge. Um, I spam Aura Sphere. I actually do spam Aura Sphere here. I legitimately do. I could also spam Moonblast, right? Looking at his draft. I just don't want him to be uh, Terra. My problem, the only reason, guys, why I don't want to spam Moonblast is because if he's Terra Fire uh, Brute Bonnet, that could be very threatening. Because right now, he's going to have the Weather War here. That's my logic on why not going for Moonblast. Like, Moonblast probably kills from this range. Um, with a quick calc, we can actually find out right now that he's Spideff. 
Uh, Moonblast is 20 to 34, and looking at that, it's a chance. But uh, the only problem is that um, I don't want to tip Rissa Rule as a chance, right? And two, uh, if he's Terrifier, I don't want that, right? He's probably going to be Ors. I'm just going to Ors here. Yeah. We're going to get off as much damage as possible here. Um, Valiant, let's go, girly. Yeah, Torkoal's going to die here. Torkoal's dead. Yep, Torkoal's dead. So the rocks are here to stay, which are huge. Um, the sun is up, though, so he's going to go Walking Wake. If I'm him, I go Wake. He might not even go Wake because he's that terrified. I kind of want him to choke and go Aleki, but we'll see. Uh, it's a close game overall, guys. It's a really close game. Yep, this is Wake, right? Yeah, this is Wake. I can't switch out. I can't switch out. So, um, I think what I'm going to do is go Hippo, and then I'm going to go... Yeah, right? I'd go Hippo after this death, and then I'd switch out into... No, I'd have to go... I'd have to go... My better play would be to go... Yeah, yeah, I get what I'm saying. We're going to horse here. Let me not overthink too much. He's going to hide his team. Yep. <clears throat> I'll actually never know if he specs. My Frisk is dead. I'll never know if he specs. I'll never know. Now, here's a tough play. Do I go... I don't want to get para hacks. Do you feel me? I want to just get that safe... Yeah, it's tough. I don't want to get Parahax. I think I go out into my Hippo, change the weather so he no longer has that speed buff, and then I go out into Kitty. But either way, I'm going to go to Kitty anyway and click Chili Reception. Um, and Specs, if he Specs, that would really hurt. Is kind of my game plan logic with this. Because um, Specs Hydro Steam. I'm fine. I'm doing that anyway. I want to Chili Reception. I think I have T Wave, right? I'm talking to myself right now like I don't know what I'm doing. Um, Aleki and Brupon. Okay, I'm gonna T-Wave, actually. I'm gonna T-Wave, and then I'm gonna the reception. Just need things to kind of work out in my favor here. Let's see, well, let's see what happens here. Um, if I'm him, I go Brupon it, right? If I'm him, I go Brupon it. Aleki, I don't even think. He could go Aleki as well, too, but we'll see. We'll see. I kind of hope he doesn't, but if I'm him, I go Brupon it. For sure, right? And I would need some sort of cheese on the Brupon it. Because Rubonet probably gets a proto buff on... He may not even have... Yeah, from what I saw, he wasn't even boosted. So, uh, he didn't bring any booster this week, guys. It's just simply based off the weather here. Which is huge because it looks like I won the weather war. Technically. Uh, so, we'll see what Drew wants to do here. Close game overall, though. Really close game, man. He's gonna Dragon Ball, so he's not choice packs. Okay. That's big for me. Can I not get Parax here? Nice. Can I not miss? Nice! Okay, I'm gonna chill the reception. Because I don't want him to get uh, free to out into a lucky. I love how I love. Okay, so he's not specs, which is big for me. <laughs> so dumb! <laughs> so dumb, man! Alright, I'm basically taking pointless damage. Because I'm just doing this to take pointless rocks damage here, and then I'm just going to go back out into my slow king. So, um, I thought that he'd go out into a lucky there, and he didn't. Yeah, he has double layers of spikes, too, so I don't want to be too worn down. Okay. Yeah, I don't want to be too worn down. You know what I mean? Because I'm below half. So he didn't switch. This is annoying. Um, this is annoying. I'm just gonna go for... Mm, mm. I wish this thing could get freeze dry. You know? I'm not inclined to click Psychic Gear. Okay, he doesn't care about getting paralyzed. Nice! What the hell? He's Lum? I just go for it again, no? Is 
Sandstorm's up for two more turns. Uh, my problem here is... Lum is actually huge. My problem here is... The sand's gonna run out, right? So my Lycan Rock, I'd be forced to go out into the Hippo again. And then if I lose Hippo, a Lucky can go wild. That's my problem, because if I let this Slow King go right now... Is that a crit? No. Um... Ah, dude, it would literally come down to... I have to go, uh, my Lycan Rock here. It's gonna come down to if I can actually land that Terra Rock Stone Edge. Because I don't think... Let me do run a quick calc. I... Close combat does 49 to 58. There's like a... That's a... That looks about 50, right? So it should die. That looks about 50, you feel me? That looks about 50 to me! That looks about 50 to me! R right? That looks about 50 to me. Yeah, it's my last turn. So I gotta make this turn count. I basically kill him on here with this turn and then go out into Hippo and reset it. So... I just, I can't, I, I don't want to risk it though, dude. I don't want to, okay, because my close combat is 49 to 58. My stone edge is 61 to 73. And if I turn a rock, there's 82 to 97. So I'm going wild with that. Feel me? So I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. We're going to see what happens. I don't know if he's put some natural book in or whatever. So we're going to see what just happens, man. Like and rock, don't let me down. Don't let me down. Don't let me down. Yes! Okay. Sucker Punch, though. I'm in Sucker Punch range is my problem. I'm, I don't want to lose to Sucker Punch, which is a very high chance. Do I live a Sucker Punch from this range? Um, Sucker Punch does 207 max, 175 min. Um... Damn, man. Maybe I should have gone. Dude, Terrified would have looked crazier, too. Sucker Punch. Okay, that's a choice, man. We're going to do absolute worst case scenario. I'm. Why would I not go out into this thing? I think I'm just going to straight up attack as well, too, in the men's. Straight up, bro. Nice! He didn't even have sucker. He didn't even click sucker punch there. Maybe he thought I'd go out. Wow. Yeah, yo, Drew, relax! Relax, gang! Hey, yo, relax, blood! Yeah, because why would I plus one here? I plus one here to what? Not even outspeed? Uh, a Reggie Lucky? Dude, that mod is dumb fast, man. What the hell? Okay, he clicked bullet punch. Um, the thing is a surprisingly tanky, bro. An outrage of 61 to 72, and that don't look like 61 to 72. That look like 80 to me, bro. I could DD on a sucker, but I'm just gonna outrage at this point, seeing that he didn't reveal the sucker and be uh, golden. But now I'm gonna DD. Yes. 
I'm hop I'm hype off nothing. I talked myself out of good plays. The thing doesn't even kill me though. Okay, choice packs does though. Choice packs kills me, so we're gonna see. Choice packs kills me, so we're just gonna see. Choice packs kills me. So let's find out what happens. Nice. That thing is dead. Bruh. Maybe I'm telling you, bro. What if he just doesn't have sucker punch? He just didn't click it. You know? He just doesn't click it. What sucks about that too is I didn't even need a DD really there because um, it killed regardless of where to see if he has it or not. Yeah, I lose. I lost. I actually did not need it. Fuck, man! Dude, it's gonna literally come down to... <sighs> I shouldn't have DD'd, man. Fuck, I'm so disappointed in myself, man. It's gonna literally come down to double spikes and everything. Yeah, man, I died a sucker, bro. Fuck, man! All right, guys, it's going to literally come down to if a Terra Rock, Excel Rock can kill. Yeah, man, even a crit doesn't kill, man. I'm just disappointed with myself, guys. I'm sorry, man. I'm sorry, man. Like, I'm just really disappointed with myself. I Dragon Dance through there, man. I didn't even need to. Just got my own head, dude. I just got in my own head. Yeah, man, GG's to Drew, man. I mean, it, it, I just, I, I choked so hard, dude. I just choked in sh incredibly hard, guys. I'm just really tilted. I'm really upset, man. Like, GG's to Drew, man. I lost I when I Dragon Dance, man. It's a tough call, man. I just, I literally talk myself out of plays, and I don't know why. It's just, for out of pure respect, if anybody could just not, I, I just... I know why I lost. I don't really need to hear any criticism right now, man. I'm just really, I'm really upset with myself. Okay, that's just kind of what it is. I'm upset with myself, man. I, GG's for Drew, man. I'll try and bring you guys a W next week. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys.